Hey everybody, it's another time to read with you. I'm so excited to have the opportunity. This is one of my favorites, um, one of my favorite authors, Greg Tang. He does lots of books that are math related and oftentimes there's some type of a, a way that's efficient to compute and find answers. Um, and you can always compute in other ways, but we're looking for efficient ways to compute and find totals. And so in this book, it's called Math Potatoes. You're gonna be looking to see if you can find ways to group the numbers um, so that you can find their answer more efficiently. So let me give you an example. Here's the first page here. Master cards, Texas Hold'em, five card draw, seven card stud, and Omaha. The trick is knowing when to hold, when to raise, and when to fold. Can you add up every card? The problem isn't very hard. A straight, a flush, a pair of threes. Try one of each and it's a breeze. So you might want to pause the video and look at the different number cards and see if you can find the total in an efficient way to group the cards. So I could add every card up in different ways, but one of the things I noticed are there some double cards and some double facts that you might want to think about. So I noticed that six plus six is 12 and three more makes 15 and that's a way to make 15. And look, there's another way, seven plus three is 10 plus five more is 15. And if I look carefully, I saw that there were three cards, one from each set, went together and made 15. So I could say 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15, or 15 times five cards. I know 10 times five is 50, five times five is 25, that gives me 75. So if I added up all of these numbers, I would get 75. That was my efficient way. What's your way? Next one is called Sock Hop. At the dance, the socks all mingle. Most are paired, but some are single. They do their best to keep the beat. Please excuse the two left feet. How many socks are hanging out? Watch them as they twist and shout. Look around for groups of five, then get set to jump and jive. So again, you might wanna pause the tape or pause the video and see if you can come up with a way to count the socks quickly and efficiently. And then maybe you even wanna tell somebody about it. Vegeta bullies. A squash will squash you on the ground and beets will beat you up and down. But onions poke you in the eye, they're the ones that make you cry. Can you count the bullies here? There's a fast way, have no fear. In every group, imagine three, then subtract what you can't see. Hmm, I wonder what his clue is there that he's giving you. In every group, imagine three, then subtract what you can't see. See if you can figure out a way to figure out the total number of bullies. Pause the video. Shell shock. I've never understood too well how oceans fit inside a shell. Hold a conch up to your ear, crashing waves are what you hear. How many, shell, how many shells have washed ashore? Find a smart way to keep score. Squares will yield the right amount as long as you don't double count. Pause the video and see if you can count how many shells there are. See if you can find an efficient way to count them instead of counting one by one. For seven's sake. I gaze into the evening sky, think great thoughts and wonder why. Planets, stars, the Milky Way, a window into yesterday. Can you count each shining star? The answer isn't very far. When you look up to the heavens, try to think in groups of sevens. Pause the video. The nut house. <laughs> Roasted dry and warm inside, in their shell the peanuts hide. A little crack, a ray of light, now they're out in open sight. How many peanuts in this snack? Try to find a clever tack. Don't just add what's right below, find smart ways to pair each row. You can pause the video, see if you can find ways to pair each row the way he's suggesting to help you count efficiently. 
hanging by a thread. Mm. Oh, what tangled webs we weave when flies and bugs we do deceive. Our silken threads will soon ensnare unknowing victims in the air. How many spiders lay in wait? Cold and cruel is nature's fate. Think subtraction and you'll be free from all this treachery. I'm gonna put this closer so you can see. You're looking for the how many spiders can you find? Pause the video if you need to. The smart cookies, mm, that might make us hungry. They start as bumpy lumps of dough, then in the oven heat they go. Soon they are the perfect treat, food for thought that's good to eat. Can you count each chocolate chip? Here's a little helpful tip. Find the square in front of you. Add the rest with place value. Mmm, counting not the cookies, but we're counting how many chocolate chips on all the cookies. One hit wonder. I'd like to be a concert star, but need more in my repertoire. I only know a single note, and chopsticks isn't very long. Excuse me, I only know a single song, and chopsticks isn't very long. How many notes are on this sheet? Think smart, and you won't miss a beat. Instead of adding row by row, columns are the way to go. Mashed potatoes. Boiled and baked and often mashed, peeled and fried and sometimes hashed. No wonder spuds hide underground. Life is painful when they're found. Can you add up these poor souls for whom the bell already tolls? In groups of 10, you'll hear their cries. Please don't turn us into fries. Flatjack. A breakfast food that's fun to make, short and round and called a cake. Not the kind that stands up tall, it's the flattest one of all. How many pancakes can you eat? Hurry now, but please be neat. Rounding is a clever tact, just remember to subtract. The pearly whites. When buying pearls, it's good to know. The word in French for fake is faux. It's if smooth against, excuse me, if smooth against your teeth they feel, then you know that they are not real. How many pearls are on this strand? So precious are the grains of sand. Instead of, instead of counting every one, double three times and be done. Mm. Here's the picture for the pearls if you want to pause it there. War of the Roses. A dozen roses for my spouse. Now she thinks I'm such a louse. Her recent birthday I forgot. Tonight I'm sleeping on a cot. Can you count each long stem rose? Maybe they can cure my woes. Don't add a cross or even down. I hope forgiveness can be found. The Emperor's New Clothes. When it comes to formal wear, penguins are beyond compare. Dressed up in a little tux, they look like a million bucks. How many penguins do you see? Try to count them elegantly. When you need to add in haste, equal groups are in good taste. I wonder if you can make some equal groups there. In a pickle. If you're in a fickle mood, pickles are the perfect food. Some are sour, some are sweet. Either way, they are good to eat. How many pickles in this bunch? Try subtracting in a crunch. Imagine eight in every row. Just subtract and you will know. Cone beds. Majestic pine trees touch the sky, raining cones from bows up high. A bed of needles makes a nest, a soft and shady place to rest. How many pine cones on the ground? It helps to first move some around. Simply fill in every gap, add them up, then take a nap.
And that is the end of the story. So again, this was Math Potatoes by Greg Tang, and he's looking for efficient ways to see if you can come up with totals in different ways to group numbers and move things around. So I hope that if you didn't go back and pause during each picture, that you might go back and pause now and, uh, and watch the video again so that you can figure out and come up with different ways. Then shoot me a message in the comments and let me know which page you worked on and let me know how you thought about it. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.